life. A Georgia man faces charges in Okaloosa County after deputies say he followed children on a Fort Walton Beach street, asking them if they wanted cookies and candy. News 5's Bryant Clerkley is on Poplar Avenue in Fort Walton Beach, where the incident allegedly took place. Deputies say 67-year-old Donald Anderson followed a 15-year-old girl on this street yesterday, and she took a photo of his license plate, which led to his arrest. This is Anderson's mugshot. Deputies say he has been driving through the neighborhood on Poplar Avenue for weeks, but the behavior hasn't been reported until Sunday. When deputies went out to investigate, a 16-year-old girl came up to them and told them Anderson followed her and a friend on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, offering them candy. The 16-year-old told deputies she saw Anderson talking to other children ages 6 to 10. When deputies caught up to Anderson, he claimed he was taking a shortcut to the Santa Rosa Mall and had only been in the area once. When Anderson learned there was a photo of him in the area earlier that day, he changed the story and admitted he was on Poplar Avenue earlier that day and three or four times in the last month. Raymond Allen says his daughter was the 16-year-old girl Anderson followed. He says he's angry enough to take things into his own hands. I think he shouldn't have been arrested. I think he should have let him go so we could have took care of it ourselves. Deputies say the suspect was staying in Rocky Bayou State Park outside of Niceville. Now, deputies say the suspect also told them that he likes to drive through low-income areas and look at people. In Okaloosa County, I'm Bryant Clerkley, WKRG News 5.